Hello YouTube, this is DallasBoy1992, um, and today I have a pretty important announcement. Um, if you guys didn't see an NPL upload come out of my, come out of my feed, um, I do have a pretty logical explanation why. Um, last Saturday I ended up having a little bit of an anxiety attack. Mons, and the stress just pretty much overloaded, and yeah, it just was not a good feeling, and after all this happened, I had a chit chat with a friend, and I pretty much knew it was time for me to do this. Um, so, as of not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before that, I regret to inform that the San Antonio Swamperts are no longer a part of the National Pokeball League Majors Division. And uh, it just hurts to say that. I mean, I have been a part of the NPL Majors for a very long time. And it was just really emotional just making that announcement in the Discord chat. And, uh, it was emotional, but at the same time it had to be done. I was just getting really overwhelmed with the game, and this dates back to the end of Season 4, March Madness where just ended up losing a lot of confidence in my battling ability. Season 5 when I took that break, the NPL PPL wars where I completely imploded. <sighs> just not had as much fun with the game like I used to. Back in like 5th gen when I was having a lot more fun with myself, getting better, and yeah, it eventually just came crashing down. Yeah. I, you guys remember the upload I put out called Anxiety Pokemon and You? This move is just me taking my own advice. I'm not enjoying myself like I used to, so... It's time for me to let it go. I do intend on going into minors, still. And hopefully that'll be a better time. But as for now, I need to get my head sorted. And I hope this is a lesson to everybody out there with some sort of disability, especially with anxiety. Don't let a game take over your life. Because if it does, it can be very impactful on your mental health, and you just can't allow that. But, going forward, the Pokemon that I drafted are in very good hands. Um, the person taking my place is actually the guy who I talked to when I made my decision to Apart from majors, Maddie Brolic. Don't know how used to his how used to my team that he is, but I think he can make it work. It's a very, very balanced team. Has some very scary offensive threats, and he actually made some pretty smart transactions over time. Um he ended up dropping Mill Tank for um, Salazzle, he dropped Weezing for um, Quillfish, and Zatu was dropped for um, Smeargle. Smeargle, I feel like, can benefit the team, because it, it's got a move pull longer than... <laughs> uh, 
well, the distance from Pluto and back. It's not the most bulky Mon, but I definitely feel like Maddie can make it work. It has all these options that you can employ, and yeah, Quillfish. Nice physical tank there. Also a poison type. Um, don't really have that letting, levitating prowess that I do like, but gives the team a spiker. Toxic spiker. Access to destiny bond. Extra intimidate action. And I actually do like that about Quillfish. And uh, definitely would have been cool to have that on on the team during my uh, four weeks of being there. And then Salazzle gives the team a lot of extra speed. Great ability and corrosion. And, uh... Gonna be kind of fun seeing that thing in action on Maddie's team. And... Don't know how I feel about Smeargle on the team... Right now, but... Knowing Maddie, I think he can make it work. So... I wish Maddie Brawlock and the St. Louis Fresh Rams the best of luck in their endeavors, and I'm going to be rooting for them all the way. So, uh, wish me luck as I recover from my anxiety issues and get my head back on straight, and please, please, please root on Matty Brock and the St. Louis Rush Rams. He has been very supportive of, of me ever since my uh, first break, and he's just been an all-around great friend. So... Thank you guys for all your support, rate, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.